Hey Booktubers, it's Cameron again, and I am back with a handheld video. Haven't done one of these in a while, so I don't know how it's going to work out. So if it's shaky, you'll just have to bear with me. Um, as you can see, I am in my family's library downstairs in my basement. And it's kind of a mess down here because we do all of our Christmas present wrapping down here. So you'll just have to excuse the mess. Um, but this is going to be the first part in a massive book haul that I have. Um, I've gathered up like 50 books over the past few months because um, I haven't done a book haul in a long time. Um, but this first part's just going to consist of all these audiobooks that I bought um, or, or actually given to me. Um, there's like 25 or so, no, about 30 actually. Um, I went to a yard sale a couple months ago and um, this guy was selling all of these audiobooks and they're cassette tapes, so. Uh, I know they're uh, cassette tapes. What the heck are those? Um, but I bought them anyway because I thought they were interesting, and I do have a couple of cassette uh, tape players that I can use to listen to them. But um, uh, I bought two of them. He was selling them for a dollar a piece, and then he said, "You know what? I'm just going to give the rest of these to Goodwill, so you can just have them all." And uh, I totally geeked out over that. Um, I didn't take all of them because uh, that'd make me feel bad if I just took all of his, you know, all these tapes. But um. I left a couple that I didn't care for, but took the rest. Um, so, go ahead and get started here and showing you all of them. I have Shadows by John Saul, which was actually one of the first ones I picked up uh, for a dollar because I um, I've always wanted to read some John Saul, so thought it'd be cool to listen to an audiobook of his. And then I have Primal Fear by William Dial Dale. I don't know. Uh, the Concrete Blonde by Michael Connelly. I've always wanted to read some of his books. Another Michael Connolly one. This is Truck Music. And then one of the newest ones is The Maze by Catherine Coulter. And then Fugitive Nights by Joseph Wambog. Bag? I don't know. Father's Day by John Calvin Batchelor. Uh, Skimitar by John Abbott. Uh, Patricia Cornwell's Postmortem. Patricia Cornwell's Hornet's Nest, which I actually have the physical book of. Um, so now I have the audiobook of it too. Uh, Black Notice, also by Patricia Cornwell. Uh, Jonathan Kellerman's Monster, which looks interesting. And that's also a newer one. Most of these are actually from like the early 90s and late 80s. So there are a couple in here for, that are like from like 2002 and such. The Firm by John Grisham, that's another one that I picked up right away. Um, it's a really popular movie and I've always wanted to read the book and this is in perfect condition and obviously has never even been opened before other than just the plastic taken off, so pick that one up right away. Time to Kill, also by John Grisham. Really want to read some of his books. I'm reading um, uh, Skipping Christmas right now by John Grisham and it's uh, really good so far. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, Christmas with the with the Cranks. Um, that book or that movie is based off of his book Skipping Christmas. Uh, oh, another one by Jonathan Kellerman, Bad Love. <clears throat> uh, the Assassin by Thomas Gifford. Storming and inter uh, inter interpid. I don't know. Payne Harris by Payne Harrison. Um, this one right here is Means of Evil and Achilles' Heel by Ruth Rendell. And this one's a really old one. Um, I'm guessing it's, I don't know, it's probably from early 80s or so. Robin Cook's Harmful Intent. Jack Higgins, A Game for Heroes. Clive Custler's Treasure. Dale Brown's Day of the Cheetah. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Hunt for Red October, which uh, is also a really popular movie. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if any of these are worth anything or not. Some of them might be. Um, others are probably not worth anything because they're just cassette tapes. Uh, Tom Clancy's uh, Patriot Games. Uh, Priz, I don't know, I don't know, some, some, something's honor, 
by Richard Condon. That's Condon, by the way. Uh, um, the Dreadful Lemon Sky by John D. McDonald. Contact. Oops, sorry, that fell down. Uh, Contact by. Let's see who wrote this. Uh, it doesn't have an author on here. Oh, uh, Carl Sagan. Uh, Sagan. Um, this is actually read by Jodie Foster. Um, I love the movie of this, um, starring Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey. Great, great, great movie. Just absolutely perfect movie, in my opinion. Um, so this is the audiobook um, for the book, read by Jodie Foster. So that'll be really interesting to listen to, as I've never read the book before. And then the last one right here is Tammy Hogue's Ashes to Ashes. So I got all of those audiobooks essentially for two dollars because I bought two of them for a dollar a piece and then the guy just gave the rest to me. So awesome deal. Really great. Um, hopefully they work. Um, like I said, a lot of them are pretty old, so I don't know if uh, some of the if some of the tapes are gonna be still working or not. So I'll just have to see when I listen to them. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to listen to them anytime soon because there's a lot of them here, but uh, they're just really interesting to have and kind of have as just collector's items. So hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be back with part two of my book haul, um, which won't be handheld. It'll be just my regular video, um, and I have a lot of really cool books to show, so I will see you guys then. Bye.